She is a, you know, fun eight-year-old. She's becoming so much more loving. She'll come up and give you hugs. We always look for parents who are willing to open their home and their hearts for children. She is, you know, a typical kid. She's active and fun and she has her preferred things she likes to play with. She requires one-to-one uh, -one attention pretty much 24 hours um, because she has a vagal nerve stimulator um, that has a magnet that has to be swiped anytime that she has a seizure requirements are to be at least 21 years old. You can be married or single in an apartment or a house, but you have to have a job, so you have to be financially stable, and you have to be physically capable of, of parenting a child. She's just become so loving, um, and so she knows like when I walk into a room, she'll start laughing and get excited and come up and give me a hug. She needs to learn how to eat. She needs to learn how to brush her teeth. She needs help with cleaning herself. Medically complex children are designated that way because they have a diagnosis that leads to more medical appointments. So there's some special things that she'll need to adapt in the home, but there's also some things that will make her very independent. I think that if she had a family that really, you know, provided for her and provided structure and loved her, she could flourish so much. If you're interested in fostering, we will guide you through the nine-week classes. We complete a home study with you as well, and then we'll help you sign up for the medically complex training once you are licensed. With just a little bit of love, she would do great.